Hi guys, you found Can't Stop Writing with Carol Alwood. I provide writing and YouTube tips for authors. Today's topic is how to self-publish your book on a Mac computer using three simple tools. I wish I would have known this information before I self-published my first book because I went with a company that helps you self-publish your books and it was really expensive. I wish I would have known by using my existing word processing software and purchasing one tool and using a free account on KDP, I could do it all myself. So I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. Before I show you the first tool you'll need to self-publish your book on a Mac, I want to go over a couple of the issues that made me feel like I couldn't do this by myself. I was worried that I wouldn't know how to number the pages on my book. The other problem I ran into was my first book I published had a lot of images in it, and I was worried that that would be much too difficult. I think the other thing I was worried about was I wouldn't know what to do with the document if I could figure out how to format it on my own. The company I used for publishing my first book was wonderful to work with. I don't have any regrets. However, I'm self-publishing my own books and I'm finding it easier than I had expected. And I think that's really exciting and I want to share it with you. So let's get started with Word. I used to use the Pages word processing software because it comes free on a Mac. Using Word is easier when you have the book formatting software called Vellum. You can easily import a Word document into Vellum and it makes your book formatting easier. Once you have your document complete and edited, you can easily take your Word document and import it into Vellum. When you first look at using Vellum, you might be worried about the cost. It costs $200 to create unlimited ebooks or $250 if you want to create unlimited ebooks and paperbacks. This might sound like a lot of money. I would rather spend $300 on a software where I could make endless books then pay what I paid to have a company help me self-publish my book. And you'll find the more you use it, the easier it is to use. And actually, it's not even hard to use to begin with. So let me go ahead and show you. If we go into Word and you see my document, this document I'm showing you today is my novelette number two in the Good Shadows book series. It's called Dream of a Girl. One thing I suggest before you import your Word document into Vellum, in between each chapter, I suggest putting in a page break. And the reason you wanna do that is because then Vellum will recognize it's a chapter. The really neat part about this book formatting software is Vellum recognizes chapter breaks and will automatically set up your table of contents and separate your chapters. I have a page break in between each chapter and each chapter is labeled for Vellum to recognize your chapters as well. Once I check my Word document to make sure it's set up the way I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and open up Vellum. And this is the symbol for Vellum. This is what it looks like. But now if we go down to this box that says Import Word Document, go ahead and click on that. And we're going to Import Dream of a Girl. And notice how Vellum automatically imports it in chapters. Remember when I told you one of my first worries was that I wouldn't know how to number the pages in my book if I was going to self-publish it? We'll take a look at the page numbers. Notice how the beginning parts that don't need page numbers, they don't have page numbers. But automatically starting on chapter one is where the page numbers begin. So Vellum knows how a book is supposed to look. The one issue some people have with Vellum is that you can't move things around very well on the title page. If you notice, all I can do is change the styles. Vellum recently added a feature where you can add a full page image. If there's a specific way you want your title page to look, just go ahead and import a full page image. You can have it exactly how you want it. I would suggest paying attention to the font options because you're going to want your title page to match the rest of your book. Let me really quickly show you how to change an ornamental break. Notice on the left hand side of the page there are two options. You can either click on content or styles and you go down below heading, first paragraph, paragraph after break. The next option down is called the ornamental break. An ornamental break is the little picture that goes in between sections in your writing. And you can upload your own image on the ornamental breaks, which makes it really fun and it makes it so you can create the feel you want for your book. 
and I've found that there's lots of different images you can get for free online. What you're going to want if you want to change your ornamental break is look for what's called a vector image. Vectizi is an excellent place to get vector images for my ornamental breaks. You can also find vector images on Shutterstock and other places like that where you might have to pay a little bit, but if it's an image you really love, and you think it enhances the look of your book, it might be worth it. So now that I've shown you how to import a document into Vellum, let me show you how once you've got everything set how you like it, you can generate books that can be easily uploaded to KDP. And if you're not sure what KDP is yet, don't worry because I'm going to show you. So once you've gotten your book how you like it on Vellum, the next step you need to take is to create a KDP account on Amazon if you haven't already done that. The nice thing about this is it's free. You can pretty much make 70% on the books that you upload to Amazon. So let's go ahead and generate books from Vellum and then I'll show you how to get into KDP. All I have to do is click generate books and I always like to say show files because I want to know exactly where my files are. So now let's get into KDP. If you go to the website kdp.amazon.com, go ahead and set up an account if you haven't already done that. Once you have an account set up, it's really easy to upload books. Let me show you by uploading my new book, Dream of a Girl. Under your KDP account, also called Kindle Direct Publishing, you'll see at the top an option to create new books. Now, one thing you should know is that you create your ebook separate from your paperback. You'll end up creating two books with the same content and the same book cover. One will be your ebook and one will be your paperback. So once you click create your ebook, you're going to go ahead and just fill out this information. You're going to say what language your book is in. You're going to give it a title, the author name. You don't need to put anything under contributors if you were working alone. The description is really important because people will read it to decide if they want to buy your book. So take your time on the description section. Make sure you're really pitching your book to the readers and definitely make sure that your grammar's correct and your spelling's correct. Go ahead and go through the publishing rights. And when you get to keywords, one thing I'd like to say about the keywords section is each box can be more than one word. You get up to seven words or phrases that you can put in there. Set your categories. There's two categories you can have. Pick the age and grade range. I want to say something about the pre-order section. I felt a lot of pressure recently to put my books up for pre-order, but recently I watched a video by Dave Chesson at Kindlepreneur, and he made a really good point about putting your book up for pre-order. Unless if you're going to really be selling your book each and every day that it's up for pre-order, you might not want to select pre-order. You have to pick a date when your book will be available, and if you come close to that date and your book still isn't ready, Kindle will put pressure on you to get it ready and you can only extend the date once before you get a consequence and the consequence on KDP for not uploading your finished book by the due date that you set is they will tell you you can't put any book up for pre-order for a whole year from the date that you missed. Once you've provided KDP with your ebook details the next place you're going to go is you're going to create the content for your book. The first question seems kind of weird. Do you want to enable digital rights management or not? A lot of people say no. The reason some people say no to enabling digital rights is that people can more easily share your book. And if you're a new author and you're trying to get people to know who you are, you might want people to be able to share your book more easily. But if you're concerned about digital rights, go ahead and select yes, and you can protect your digital files a little more easily. Once you've selected whether or not you want to enable the digital rights of your book, then you need to upload your manuscript. And that's where your files from Vellum come into play. Here's my book from the files that Vellum generated, and I'm just going to select that and upload it. Once I do that, I'm going to upload my book cover. Your book cover needs to be a JPEG or a TIFF file. And once you've done all that, you can launch previewer mode. While the previewer is launching, I'm going to tell you why you want to look carefully at this. There might be mistakes with your the size of your book cover. This is another opportunity for you to read through your manuscript and check for errors. I know it sounds tedious to read and reread your book. Readers appreciate error-free drafts. Get a cup of coffee and look through the pages. Maybe you don't have to look 
through every single word, but take as much time as you're willing to allow for this. Ebooks do not require an ISBN number, so I don't fill anything out in that section. I just keep going. And finally, on the pricing page, you have some choices to make about your book. Some authors like to have books that are really inexpensive if they're new authors. A book for 99 cents is sort of an impulse buy, so if you price your book at 99 cents, people might be more likely to grab it. However, you're not going to make much money on that. A 99 cent book is only eligible for the 35% profit margin. I like to click to enable book lending because then, like I said, especially for new authors, people can get to share your book with others and then you'll gain more readers and the next time you put out a book they'll be more likely to buy it so I enable lending and finally you're ready to publish your ebook this is an exciting step it does take a little while for Kindle to approve your ebook but I found it doesn't take up to 72 hours usually they get back to me within a day and there you have it. You have taken your Word document, uploaded it to Vellum so it looks like a book, and put it on Amazon KDP. See how easy that was? If you still have questions about this process, please leave a comment below and I'd be happy to address it. And maybe there's another video you'd like me to make on part of this process. I would love to share what I've learned with you because my hope is that you'll be able to publish as many books as you want as easily as possible. If you like the content in this video, please subscribe and hit the bell and you'll find out when my next videos are coming. And until next time, have fun writing and Think about self-publishing using your own tools on your Mac. It's easier than you think. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.